Hi guys, welcome back to our course on NumPy. In our previous lecture, we started our discussion on filtering of NumPy arrays and we discussed two methods of filtering arrays that is using boolean index list and filter method. Today we are going to look at another method that is the direct method. So let's get started. So filtering is a quite common task in NumPy. So there is an easy method to do it. We can directly substitute the array instead of the iterable variable in our condition and it works just fine. It will be clear when we look at some examples. So let's move on to the code. Let me just write Python 3 and hit enter. Now I'm gonna import numpy as np and hit enter. Now let's create a filter directly. So creating filter directly from the array. That's what we are gonna do. So to create a filter, we need an array first. So let's create an array first to filter out the values from the array. So we have to write the array name or ARR or array or whatever you want. I'm going to avoid using array completely. So I'm going to write ARR is equal to np.array and I'm going to pass a list to it. So I have passed the list. As you can see, so I've created an array. So here we won't use a Boolean index list. So in previous lecture, we filtered using Boolean index list and filter methods. But here we won't use a Boolean index list. We'll you do it directly because it's the direct approach. Now let's proceed to creating the filter or creating the filtered array. So first we have to create a filter and then we can create a filter array. So this is the filter. So filter is equal to array name greater than 42. So it will filter all the elements which are greater than 42 and new array is used to store this result of the filter. So note that filter actually filters and new array is actually storing the result of the filter. So I'm gonna print the new array. Here you can see that it's an empty list because there's no value which is greater than 42. Now let's change the value and so it's now three. So it will filter out all the elements which are greater than three. So I've created a filter. I've stored the result in a new array and I have printed the new array. So all the elements greater than three were printed. Now you can see that I did not use a Boolean list directly in this example, but let's understand what is actually happening at the back end. So we need to observe, we need to understand. So please try to understand this clearly. So I was saying that we did not use a Boolean index list directly, but we still have a Boolean index list here. It is not direct, it's not visible to us, but it is still present. So let's see how. So when we So when we executed the command that is filter is equal to array name or ERR greater than three, it kinda creates a Boolean index list. 
so the list is present but it is not visible to us so let me just print the result of this filter directly instead of storing the result in a new array so if i print filter i get a boolean index list so a boolean index list is present here but it's not visible to us and it's working in the back end so there is a boolean index list but we did not create it explicitly we have not created a boolean list directly as we did in the previous example so we can say that this is a direct method now let's see one more example So our objective in this example is to sort the even elements from the array directly. So we have to sort even element from the array and we have to follow the direct approach. Now I'm gonna write the command for the filter. So filter is equal to array name mod of 2 equal to equal to 0 because this is the condition to sort the even elements from the array. Now I'm gonna store the result in a new array and I'm gonna print the new array. I made a little mistake here instead of giving the proper brackets I gave the square brackets. So I have to rectify it and write it again. So all the even elements have been displayed. So we got the even values in the array or original array. So similarly, we can do it for the odd elements or the odd values. So in today's lecture, we covered the direct approach for filtering the array. That will be all for today. This video is brought to you by Programming Knowledge. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and hit the bell button for updates. And stay tuned with us for next video. Thank you.